In this video, we are going to discuss a dual input and balanced output a differential amplifier. You know, the dual input balanced output differential amplifier we have discussed. Now, dual inputs are they? V in 1 and V in 2 I am applying. Unbalanced output, instead of taking output in between the C1 and C2, I am taking output between the C2 and the ground. So, you can pause the video for a few seconds and you can copy down the circuit diagram as well as the waveforms. Equivalent circuit for dual input and balanced output differential amplifier. It is same as a dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Only where you take output is a different. You can pause and you can note down this circuit diagram. Try to note down R in 1, V in 1, R e, emitter 1, emitter 2. Pause the video if you want. Voltage gain equation will derive. Let us assume I1 equal to IE2, RE1 equal to RE2 equal to RE. Writing a KVL for the loop 1 and loop 2. Where is the loop 1? So take this as a loop 1. V in 1, R in 1, RE, RE. Write the equation. V in 1 minus R in 1, IB1 minus RE, IE1 minus RE. I have a I1 plus IE2. Both currents are flowing here. Uh, another loop I have this and it is almost same equation but instead of V1 now I have a V in two source. We know that IB1 equal to IE1 by beta AC, IB2 equal to IE2 by beta AC and these can be neglected. So I can rewrite the above these two equations like this. You can pause the video and you can copy down. RE plus RE into IE1 plus RE into IE2 equal to V in 1. RE into IE1 plus RE plus RE into IE2 equal to V in 2. Using Kramer's rule, these two can be solved for I1 equal to and I2 equal to. So I1 equal to will get RE plus RE into V in 1 minus RE into V in 2 divided by RE plus RE square minus RE square. This already derived in a dual input balanced output configuration. Now, let us go to the next. Similarly, apply cable to the loop 2 and uh, write down the equation for i 2 equal to, you will get uh, r e plus r e into v in 2 minus r e into v in 1, but denominator will remain same r e plus r e square minus r e square. Where we take the output voltage, we take across the RC. So hence, V0 equal to VC2. What is VC2? Minus RC into IC2. RC into IC2 is nothing but RC into IE2 because IC equal to IE. Simply, I will fill this IE2 value. I am rewriting. I just am rearranging these. RE into V in 1 minus R e plus R e into V in 2 and R e into bracket R e plus 2 R e. You can pause the video and just go through once again. Generally, R e is very very high compared to R e. Hence, I can rewrite R e plus R e equal to capital R e. For example, 1 ohm plus 1 mega ohm equal to 1 mega ohm only nearly. So, therefore, R e plus 2 R e is almost equal to 2 R e. So the same equation I have rewritten. Now I have taken RE common, V in 1 minus V in 2 will get. And uh, RC as it is divided by 2 RE, what I will get? RE, RE if you get cancel, so V in 1 minus V in 2 I will get. Therefore AD equal to V naught by VID. VID is nothing but V in 1 minus V in 2. Therefore RC by 2 RE, I will get AD equal to. There is a voltage gain equal to. AD for dual input balanced output is a half of the gain of the dual input balanced output, a differential amplifier. 
DC what we get is a error voltage at a collector. Differential input resistance will remain same because circuit remains same. Hence Ri1 equal to Ri2 equal to 2 beta is same to Re. The derivation is already done for a dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Output you are taking across the RC. Hence R0 equal to RC. And level translator used in the op-amp because the direct coupling is then in op-amp circuits or blocks because of that the emitter voltage rises from stage to stage. Therefore, a limiting circuit is needed or level shifting is needed. So, we use a level translator for that. For example, you can observe in this, uh, this voltage 7.83, next stage it has become 9.32. Like that if you take another stage, again it will increase a DC voltage. So because of this direct coupling, the level will start increasing or a DC voltage will increase from one stage to the next stage. Solution is what for this, we use a level shifter or level translator. What it does, it shifts the output DC level to the zero volts. This one simplest circuit is given. We have to choose the R1 and R2 properly and junction of R1 and R2, we take our output. And for better results, instead of only R1 and R2, we can use a emitter follower with a diode current bias or a current mirror can be used. Those circuits are shown in the next slide. These are the two circuits which we can use for a level translator to get a DC voltage equal to zero. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. Subscribe this channel. Thank you.